Okay, I want to show you guys something. Check this out. This is something in Ableton that I don't see discussed that much, and I don't think I've ever talked about it on the stream. I want to just show you guys a quick tip around freezing and flattening tracks in Ableton. It's actually a workaround. Some of you might know about this, some of you might not. I just have a blank session with an audio track. I'm going to put two audio tracks. I'm going to load up just a drum loop from Drums at Knock Volume 9. I'm going to put an effect on it. Just for the sake of this, I'm going to put a reverb on it. If I freeze this track, you have the audio with the reverb on it. If I flatten that, it's going to turn into just an audio file with the effect printed on it. One thing a lot of people don't know about is if I just select a piece of this frozen audio track, and I have another audio track, I can actually just drag that down. When I do that, that piece of the audio is flattened on this next audio track. Did you guys know about that? You can take a piece of it, drag it down, and it'll actually remove it from the above track. Or you can take a piece of it, hold down option, and copy it. And it takes the process track and moves it into audio. A lot of people think that if they freeze it, they have to flatten it and turn it into audio. But that's just a quick workaround. I don't know if that's a very common technique, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, so I wanted to make sure you all know about that.